in the previous lecture we have started to deal with the problem of lendo theory of liquid helium 2 in the first part of the lecture we have uh, actually discussed the important assumptions made by lendo to develop his theory of liquid helium 2 and we have also seen that uh, Uh, if you are talking about the specific heat capacity of liquid helium 2 at constant volume the actually that specific heat is uh, contributed by both of the excitations that is the phonons and the rotons okay so in this lecture our aim is to find the uh, contribution of phonons Uh, regarding this uh, a specific heat capacity at constant volume okay as i have told you that uh, this is a very uh, uh, rigorous theory and so we have to divide this lecture in different parts so in this second part we are going to calculate cvph which means this is the co contribution of phonon in the specific heat capacity at constant volume of liquid helium 2 okay but uh, this calculation will need uh, some of the important results which we have discussed in the first part of the lecture so just as an a summary uh, here i am just writing the important results which we have discussed in the first part of the lecture you have seen in the first part that energy of a phonon uh, of momentum p is given by cp where you know that this p is momentum of the phonon and c is velocity of sound don't confuse the, this c by velocity of electromagnetic wave here actually this is velocity of sound okay because you know that phonon is a quantum of uh, the quantized uh, sound wave okay and uh, similarly we have also seen the expression for the energy of roton of momentum p and that is given by this expression this e of p which represents the energy of a roton of momentum p is given by delta plus p minus p not a whole square divided by 2 b you know that uh, you have seen in the previous lecture by the energy spectrum graph that this delta is the energy corresponding to the momentum p not which actually corresponds to the minimum energy of proton okay and mu is actually the effective mass these uh, were the results which we have discussed in the previous lecture and apart from that we have also seen that the mean occupation number uh, which is denoted by the symbol n of p that is given by 1 over e to the power minus beta e of p minus 1 here this beta you know this is equal to minus 1 over kt okay and uh, as uh, you have seen in the previous lecture that the specific heat at constant volume for this liquid helium 2 is contributed by both of the excitations that is by the photon that is by the phonons and the rotons and so the total specific heat capacity of this liquid helium 2 is given by cb of ph and cb uh, uh, root uh, roton ph for phonon so cb due to phonon and cb due to rotons and the sum of these two uh, cb is equal to the total specific heat capacity at constant volume of liquid helium 2 okay so cb ph this represent the specific heat of phonon gas or you can say this is the contribution of phonon uh, regarding this cb and cb uh, wrote this represent the specific heat of roton gas or this is contribution of roton now as i have told you that in this lecture uh, we will only calculate this cb ph that is the phonon contribution we will calculate okay and uh, before uh, no, no, as you know that uh, cb can be calculated only when you can find you can find the internal energy of this phonon gas 
and for finding the internal energy you have to calculate the number of phonons total number of phonons in this system and after that you can calculate the total energy so let us first of all uh, see what will be the number of phonons whose momentum lies between p and p plus dp p and p plus dp as you know that this can be calculated in terms of the density of states because you know that the density of states for momentum between p and p plus dp that is denoted by g of p dp and you have studied that this represents the number of quantum states uh, in unit volume this is called density of a state this is number of quantum states per unit volume in phase space okay and np this represents the average number of phonons or particles uh, in one quantum state so if you want to find the number of phonons having momentum between p and p plus dp how you can find since in one quantum state the number of uh, phonons is uh, g of p dp okay and uh, sorry uh, uh, so since in unit volume the number of quantum states which is called density of a state that is g of p dp okay and in one quantum state the average number of phonon is n of p so in this momentum range the number of phonons will be g of p dp times n of p okay now you have calculated several times that for a boson having a, a, a spin degeneracy gs equal to 1 this g of p dp is simply equal to 4 pi v p square dp divided by s q where v is the volume of this liquid okay and np this is equal to 1 over e to the power minus beta e of p minus e 1 okay so the total number of phonons will be what for getting the total number of phonons you have to integrate this result okay and as you know uh, classically the value of momentum magnitude of momentum will lie between 0 to infinity so we will integrate this result for uh, with respect to p uh, for the limits 0 and infinity so the total number of phonons is given by 4 pi v over h cube integral 0 to infinity p square dp divided by e to the power cp by kt as you know that this ep for phonon is given by cp you have seen and this beta is equal to minus 1 by kt so when you will substitute the value of ep and this beta this term will be e to the power cp divided by kt okay now to evaluate this integral we simply substitute uh, cp by kt equal to epsilon or you can say that this p is equal to kt by c times epsilon and therefore dp will be kt by c d epsilon now let us make this uh, substitution in the in this result okay so nph which is total number of phonons that will be 4 pi v over h cube and p square means kt by c whole square epsilon square so this kt by c whole square has been taken outside of the integral and and epsilon square is inside the integral you can see and uh, dp this is kt by c d epsilon so this kt by c is also outside of the integral okay and uh, in denominator uh, you can put epsilon at the place of cp by kt so this is e to the power epsilon minus 1 now this uh, integral uh, has been evaluated earlier too so in terms of riemann zeta function when you will actually uh, write the value of this integral Uh, what will be the result you can see 
this result will be equal to n p h equal to 8 pi zeta 3 v divided by h cube c cube times k t to the power 3 okay after substituting the value of that uh, integral okay here you know that this zeta of n uh, is the Riemann zeta function where here actually n is equal to 3 okay so this is the total number of uh, phonons in volume v of the liquid helium okay now after getting the value of total number of phonons you can easily find what will be the total internal energy of phonons uh, uh, for the entire momentum range from 0 to infinity but before that first of all we will find the internal energy of the phonons having momentum between p and p plus dp as you know that uh, the energy of a phonon with momentum p we have denoted by the symbol e of p and that is equal to what that is equal to in fact uh, cp you have seen now dp is very small so you can think that uh, the average energy of each phonon having momentum which between p and p plus dp is equal to ep okay so the energy of one phonon is ep so what will be the energy of dnph phonon that will be simply dnph into ep so dnph into ep represents the energy of uh, the phonons having momentum between p and p plus dp but you have seen that this dnph this is equal to g of p dp times n of p okay and ep this is equal to cp now g of p dp you have seen that this is equal to 4 pi v p square dp divided by sq and this uh, occupation uh, number average occupation number np is equal to 1 over e to the power minus beta e and so when you will put the value of e and beta this is e to the power cp by kt minus 1 and times cp so this is the energy of phonons having momentum between p and p plus dp okay now when you will integrate this result for the entire range of momentum from 0 to infinity you will get the total internal energy of all these phonons so the total internal energy due to phonons will be what this will be uph equal to 4 pi v over h cube integral 0 to infinity cp cube divided by e to the power cp by kt minus 1 dp okay now again uh, here we will put uh, this cp by kt equal to epsilon and uh, then we will find uh, a dp okay as you have done just earlier so making this substitution your integral will now become like this this is 4 pi v by h cube c cube kt to the power 4 integral 0 to infinity epsilon cube divided by e to the power epsilon minus 1 d epsilon you can check it okay now again uh, by the concept of uh, Riemann zeta function the when we will substitute the value of this integral then the value of uph will be like this this will be 24 pi zeta 4 v divided by h cube c cube times kt to the power 4 actually the value of this integral will be equal to what this is 6 uh, Riemann zeta function zeta 4 zeta 4 okay so this will be in fact uh, then 6 uh, zeta 4 will be multiplied here and that will be equal to 24 pi zeta 4 v divided by h cube c cube times kt to the power 4 okay now when uh, we will take the ratio of uph and nph you can see you have calculated the value of nph here 
so when you will divide that uph by this nph your result will be like this this will be 3 zeta 4 divided by zeta 3 times nph into kt you can check okay so this is actually the relation between the uph and the nph that is number of phonons and its internal energy okay so you can see that the internal energy due to the phonon this is actually uph and this is proportional to t to the power 4 t to the power 4 and this result differs from the result which we have obtained earlier in case of ideal Bose gas model. Now, uh, after getting the value of UPH, you can now easily find what will be the specific heat capacity at constant volume, CVPH. According to its definition, you know that CVPH is equal to what? This is del U pH by del T at constant V. And when you will substitute this value of U, V, U, P, H and uh, you will differentiate it, you can see this will be simply 24 pi zeta 4 V divided by H cube C cube K4 times del T 4 by del T. And this uh, derivative will be 4 T cube. And when uh, we will substitute it, your result will be like this. Okay. And so uh, here uh, I have actually uh, substituted uh, the value uh, of this 4t cube, okay. And uh, now uh, in terms of the volume per unit phonon, uh, this expression will be like this. If we will divide this v by n, which is total number of uh, actually particles, then this v by n will be volume per particle that is denoted by a small b and so I have multiplied uh, by this n here and also divide. So you can write this expression like this cbph equal to nk times 16 pi s 5 pi to the power 5 b divided by 15 h cube c cube kt to the power 3. Actually here the value of Riemann zeta function zeta 4 has been substituted okay and uh, if you want to relate the value of this cv with nph you have to divide this equation 3 by this equation uh, 1 you can see here and then uh, you can get uh, that this cv ph is equal to 12 zeta 4 divided by zeta 3 nph into k now it is clear from this equation 3 that this CVPH is proportional to T cube and uh, you can also see if T tends to 0 this CVPH will tend to 0. But uh, as I have told you that uh, uh, in case of the ideal Bose gas model you have seen that this CV was proportional to T to the power 3 by 2. Okay? But this is only the contribution of phonon. In the next lecture, we will see the value of CV uh, due to the contribution of rotons. And then we will add these two values and get the total CV. And uh, when we will get the total CV, again you will find that the total CVs will be proportional to TQ. So uh, wait for the next lecture when we will calculate the value of CV which will be the contribution of rotons. Okay. Thank you very much.